blast. You know what? It's it's one of those things, honestly, Webby, that I think we talked about before. And it's all about what your expectations were. And we tried to tell a, a few things, right? And I'm going to pat ourselves on the back here, Webby, because not only did we tell you about, you know, some of these articles that were done by American writers, and they really highlighted Nick Nurse and the role that Nick Nurse played with this culture reset and how he developed this from, you know, the Houston Rockets organization, this whole shooting threes and layups and how that they worked with the in the offseason with the bench mob and got that to work. Not only did we tell you about that when those stories came out earlier on in the regular season, we also told you to manage your expectations, right? And to not listen so much as to what was being spewed out there by not only Raptors brass, but also Raptors media. What I mean by that is, if your expectations were championship or bust, or you thought that the Raptors were going to beat the Cavs, then you were expecting, oh, if Dwayne Casey's gone, we're going to bring in another coach, and another coach is going to get us over the hump, and that's going to be the difference. And it's like, that's not realistic. And and we, we knew that. We were telling you that. And now that this has played out, this is Masai Ujiri, to me, how I'm reading this, this is Masai Ujiri telling you, hey... We are satisfied, not satisfied, but we're okay with where the team is right now. We yeah. built this team up from being a bottom basement organization, not even a respectable franchise in the NBA, where their most the biggest highlight was in a dunk contest, right. right? Or Vince going to his graduation. Other than that, it's been the lottery and mistakes in the lottery, to be honest. And since then, Masai's come in. He's taken them into the playoffs consistently. They've improved every year since Dwayne Casey's been there for sure. But on top of that, it's a process, right? And I, I don't mean to make the joke about the Sixers. We'll get to that later. But, you know, it's about bigger things, right? And it's about making the this franchise sustainable success. And sustainable success for this franchise is not championships yet. You're not there yet. It's about consistently being in the playoffs it's about consistently building basketball fans that have an understanding of what it's like to cheer for a winning team night in and night out in the regular season it's about building a culture and building a a, a setup where you can interchange your players and it doesn't matter because at the end of the day your structure and the foundation of what you're building is bigger than any one player and they've been successful in doing that, right? This is a team that made the conference finals in spite of their two best players being arguably their worst players, right? Like, we forget about that. That's a thing that happened. And so when they got rid of Casey and it's like, well, we're just going to promote an assistant. Well, it's the assistant that showed you that his offense works last year, right? Like, we yeah. saw that. Now, am I saying Nick Nurse is the answer and he's going to solve all the problems? No. But he's going to maintain the ship. He's going to steer the ship in the same direction that this this boat was already going, which is to stay, sustain stay success. The stay the course. That's all they're trying to do. Because, again, if they lose to LeBron every year in the second round of the playoffs, they'll tell you they're mad. But they're still going to jack up ticket prices each and every year, yeah. right? And they can do that as long as they're in the playoffs. And... That's something that, for the majority of this franchise's existence, they hadn't been able to say before Masai Ujiri got there. And hiring Nick Nurse, as much as Raptors fans don't want to hear it, because fans want to hear, we're winning a championship. We're trying to win a championship. And trust me, they are trying to improve each and every year. But what do we say each and every week, Webby? There's levels to this <laughs> shit. And the Raptors yet aren't on that championship level yet. You got to get there. You got to start and build the foundation. And they've done that. And this is all a part of that process. And keeping Nick Nurse, someone who's familiar with what you're trying to do and what you're trying to build, that's all part of the plan. Masai's plan, right? Boom, blast.